Welcome back, Nick Lange's Comic Corner, classic slash non-classic. This is episode number 382 and double shot number 306. <clears throat> First up, a classic Captain America story. Well, this is the trade is called Captain America and the Falcon. Well, <clears throat> I should point this out, though, despite the fact on the cover of the issues that came out in this trade, it was called that, but on the official inside, it was still called Captain America. Uh, this, this contains issues uh, 169 to 176 of the Captain America series. This is called Secret Empire. Now, some of you are thinking, hmm, why does that name sound so familiar? Yeah, it's the crossover Nick Smith is doing right now. Uh, this is written by Steve Echohart and Mike Fedrick, which Sal Bushma on the artwork. I should point this out, though. Sal Bushma's artwork from 1970s, I believe, this, I believe these issues came out in. Correct? Yeah, I believe it was the 70s. From looking at these issues, yeah, it's 1970s. Um, his artwork is much better in the 1970s. It's like by the time he hit the 1980s and 90s, his artwork got so bad. Because look at this. This is such good artwork. And this is Sal Bushma. The guy who did the... who Whose artwork got really... Like, I don't know what happened to him after the 70s. It's like, okay, you have this very crisp, uh, cool-looking... Um, artwork, but for some reason he got really lazy, he just got really lazy, but it, 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 it got so bad in the 90s, so I, I had nothing, I, I, I have nothing to respect the guy, but come on, this artwork is good, but if you read Spectacular Spider-Man when Jerry Kine was writing the book, the artwork was so bad, no seriously, the artwork was so bad, but this, this is good artwork. Uh, the story for this book is that uh, Captain America is framed for murder, and so he's basically fighting the secret empire. The storyline itself is only, the, this trade is only like eight issues long, it's not very long of a trade, um, and it's a uh, standard sized trade. Uh, this does lead to the Nomad storyline, so the thing with this is, is that it's kind of, well, it is a good storyline, but on its own. It, you kind of need other stuff to go along with it because it's part of the regular ongoing series. Because it's Echo Heart. It's a very serialized story. Also, the book has a guest star appearance by a few members of the Avengers, which is basically uh, Thor and Iron Man. And yes, this does happen. Uh, some people probably... Now, when you look at this cover of this trade, you're like, hmm, hmm, this cover looks very familiar. That's because they reused the cover. This is basically the cover for issue 176. They reused it for uh, Captain America Sam Wilson issue 20. Yeah, except they replaced. Uh, they put. They they, they they had Sam take the place of Steve, and pretty much they had uh, the four people behind them replaced him with uh, Misty Knight, D Man, the New Falcon, and I believe the other one was probably Steve. Uh, they probably had the. Probably either was Steve or some other character they replaced him with, but it might have been Rick. Who knows? Uh, I, I don't remember the cover. It's been low. It's been like I, I it I, that maybe I, I don't remember who the fourth one was, but I think three of the four people I I got pretty much right. And also, we have a team up with the X Men. Yeah, there's an, there's a crossover with the X Men here. Yeah, this came out during the period of time when the X Men were during their reprint years, uh, where this is like them. They appeared in other people's books, and they appear. They start appearing about three issues into the storyline, and they uh, they team with Cap, and they eventually help clear his name of murder. Well, they pretty much kind of take down the Secret Empire. Of course, the whole thing of the X Men being here it's just a continuation. What Eckerhart was doing in Amazing Adventures. Yeah, simply put, this is just a continuation when he was doing Amazing Adventures uh, when he had the Beast, uh, basically, and. Of course, we also have guest star appearance by the Falcon, uh, by you know, the Falcon, uh, Black Panther, who actually helps Steve. Um, there's all there's one new character who makes his debut in the storyline, and that's the original Moonstone. No, this is not Carla Softin. She does make a debut to a little bit later. I'd say about two years later. But this is the first appearance of the original Moonstone. Let's show you what this guy looks like. Yeah, this guy in this very silly attire. Yeah. This guy here, this is the original Moonstone. Yeah, Carla Soft that stole his Moonstone to become Moonstone. Yeah. Because the storyline is so great, nothing really wrong with it. It's Echo Heart as finest. 
I get this book a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. It's a classic, too. Next up is New Teen Titans, Volume 6. Uh, I think it's Volume 6, correct? Yeah, I think so. Um, the thing with this is, is that um, normally I reviewed the issues part by Teen Titans Classics, but since I don't have Volume 5, I figure I'll just stick this into one of my comic corner. I will review the issues in this trade eventually, but I want to review the issues that came before this, uh, before uh, the... the the issues uh, 20, 34, and number two. I want to get. I want to view those issues first. Then review the issues in this trade. Um, all the issues here are amazing. Uh, it it does lead into basically the Jewish contract. There's stuff. There's even the crossover with the the out Batman the Outsiders, which brilliant stroke of genius. Of course, that one is basically a co-written issue. Uh, I should point this out though uh, for the artwork for some of these issues. Uh, Keith Peller does the first three issues in the straight. Basically, he does issues uh, 35, 37, and I believe Perez, uh, starting with issue 38, he pretty much does the rest of the issues in this trade. Um, the Batman the Outsiders issue, this is written by uh, Mike W. Burt, which is co-written by uh, Marv Wolfman. Uh, Mike W. Burt also co-writes uh, New Teen Titans number 37. But simply put, this is just basically more set up to the Judas Contract storyline, which comes right after this, which which I've seen on, on Amazon. It's going to go up to at least about nine trades, which it's going to finish up collecting the new Teen Titans stuff and eventually going to do the um, uh, new t uh, the second volume, eventually New Titans. I'm looking forward to that. But all the issues here are good, and I'm kind of glad the fact that in this particular thing, we finally got rid of Brother Blood. Um, I don't want to reveal details of the issues until I, until I cover them eventually. Uh, I'll give this another 10 out of 10. All the issues here are amazing. Alright, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode, which hopefully... Well, next episode will be episode 383, but hopefully next episode will be Double Shot. If it is, next Double Shot will be episode... Will be, it, uh, number 307. Okay, but until then, I'll see you there. Bye.